All right, welcome back to LUTWarehouse.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you a couple of quick ways that you can improve the audio on your video clips. Now I've got this clip right here and this was shot on the iPhone 15 Pro Max using one of our iPhone LUTs here to get some nice color on it. But what we wanna do is improve the audio on this and there's a few simple things that you can do in DaVinci Resolve to greatly increase the audio output. So before we get started, I'm just gonna play it so that you can hear what it sounds like normally. This has been a trail that ever since we started the channel, we've really been wanting to do. So that's what it sounds like normally and I'm hoping that comes through uh, on the screen recording. But the first thing that we're gonna do is jump down here to the Fairlight tab and this is where you're gonna manage all of your audio controls. So you'll notice when I click on audio one, it will correspond to this side here in the mixer. And a simple thing that you can do to ensure that your volume on all of your clips is loud enough is to double click on the dynamics. And then you're gonna come over in this new dynamics tab and turn on compressor. And what this is gonna do is basically uh, create a limit to where the audio can't go any higher but it will also boost everything that might be lower. So once we turn this on, you'll see when I play that the gain reduction will lower the volume on anything that might be over this threshold. And we can control this threshold by using the ratio slider here. So uh, this has been a trail that ever since we started the channel, we've really- Okay, so now I'm, I'm seeing that the volume here is a little bit too low, so what I'm gonna do is just bump this up so uh, this has been a trail that ever since we started the channel and now you can see when I press play that we're hovering with all of our audio right around the negative three on the output really been wanting to do this has been a trail that ever since we started the channel we've really been wanting to do this has been a trail that ever since we started the channel we've really been wanting to do another good trick is to increase the volume on your speakers to about 50 percent and then play back the audio normally to see if it sounds too loud or blown out. So this is the first thing that you're gonna do, and just go ahead and play with the volume here to make sure that none of your clip sounds weird. In general, it should sound much better. Now there's one more thing that we need to do to make sure that we get the most out of this sound, and that's use what's called the vocal channel. If you notice, you can click and drag on this and hover over your audio channel one, and this is gonna apply it to the entire Audio One channel across your timeline. And what this basically lets you do is adjust certain frequencies within the range of your audio. So a very simple way to get you started would be to use the higher frequencies here and just go ahead and pull this up just a hair, maybe about halfway, and then you can start your footage over again and press play. This has been a trail that ever since we started the channel, we've really been wanting to do. This has been a trail that ever since we started the channel, we've really been wanting to do. And then there's one more thing we can do, which is to drag down some of the background noise here in the lower frequencies. So I'll go ahead and play that again. So uh, this has been a trail that ever since we started the channel, we've really been wanting to do. And you can hear that with just these two simple changes, the audio goes from a little bit more muffled to a little bit more clear and crisp. So thanks for watching this video. I hope it really helped you. And as always, if you're looking for some cool LUTs to increase the production value of your videos, you can visit us at LUTWarehouse.com. This is a clip that I recently shot here with the DJI Osmo and uh, out here in Colorado in the pines. And I'll just show you some of the previews of what kind of colors you can get with this. Really cool. A little bit of faded vintage. Love this, this green popping on the forest. Some nice bright shots. I think this is one that I'm gonna go with on this clip because it really brings out the feeling of the trees. So again, thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope it helped you. And if you have any questions, let us know down in the comments.